So like from the Believe in Christ page? Yeah. Then we can share it. Glory to God, I see you, you're live, good morning Facebook Good morning people of God, good morning, good morning, good morning Hallelujah, good morning people of God, come on in, come on in Come on in people of God Praise the Lord Praise the Lord. Come on in, people of God. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in, people of God. Hallelujah. Good morning, people of God. Got a watch party. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on in, people of God. Bless the Lord. The Lord is good, and he is worthy to be praised. Come on in. Praise the Lord this morning with me. Come on in. He is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah, Jesus. He is awesome, and he is altogether lovely. Hallelujah, Jesus. He is worthy of all the praise. Hallelujah. We bless you this morning, Lord God. And we thank you, Lord, for what you're doing in the atmosphere, Lord God. We thank you, Lord, for what you're doing in the place, Lord God. We bless you today, Heavenly Father. Because thank you, Lord. Heard, God. You are God all by yourself, Lord. You are God all by yourself, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Good morning. Good morning, Elder Denise. And Brother Carlos, God bless you. Good morning. Good morning, Sister Lachey. Good morning, Sister Selena. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Praise the name of the Lord. We bless you, Lord. (laughs) Hallelujah. We bless you, Jesus. And we praise you today, Lord God. You are awesome, Lord. You are awesome, God, Lord. And we just want to bless you today. Hit the share button, people of God. We got an awesome service for you today. We are together with Connected Church. Praise the Lord. We are together. uh, Praise the Lord. Having a joint service today, a joint virtual service. Praise the Lord, God. Hallelujah. We miss you too, Brother Carlos. God bless. We miss you too. We miss you all. Miss you all. God bless you, brother. Praise the name of the Lord. We miss you. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. We praise you today, Father. We just ask you to come on in. Come on in. Come on in, Lord, as we turn this service over to you, Lord. Come on in, Heavenly Father. As we turn this this service over to you, Lord, we just want you to come on in. Yes. Hallelujah, Lord. Yes, God. We lift you up today, Lord. You are worthy of all the praise, Lord God. You are worthy. Lord God, of all the praise, oh God, we bless your heavenly Father. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Gathered today, Lord, as one body, Lord God. Two churches as one body united, Lord God, as you are our head, Lord Jesus. Praise yes. the name of the Lord, God. There's many gifts in one body, Lord God. Yes, the body Lord. comes together, Lord. Hallelujah, Hallelujah Jesus. I thank you. Hallelujah. I thank you, Heavenly Father. For who you are, Lord God. I thank you, Heavenly Father, for letting us get up this morning. I thank you for your grace this morning, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, that you just, oh God, that you poured mercies, new mercies on us, oh God. That what we did yesterday doesn't matter, Lord God. If we ask you for for forgiveness of our sins, if we repent and turn from our wicked ways, oh God, because your son Jesus died for us, Lord God, because you sent your son as a gift. Lord God, yes, uh, as, Lord. as a substitute, Lord God, for the death that we deserve. Lord God, we can turn away from our wicked ways yes. and walk to eternal life, oh God. We can turn from our wicked ways and walk to eternal security. We can turn from our wicked ways and walk to your secure love. We can turn from our wicked ways and walk to your secure forgiveness. We can turn from our wicked ways and walk, Lord God, to where you said that your yoke is easy and your burden is light, oh God. 
God. Lord God, we want to learn of you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we want to seek your face, Lord God. Your word says that you are a rewarder of those who seek you diligently. Lord God, so we've come together, Lord God. No pandemic has stopped us, Lord God. No, 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 no issues have stopped us, Lord God. No turmoils have stopped us, Lord God. We've continued to seek your face, oh God. Lord God, finances haven't stopped us, Lord God. Sickness and disease haven't stopped us, Lord God. But we will continue to seek your face, oh God. Lord, downtroddenness has not stopped us, oh God. No, Lord God, but we will continue to seek your face, Lord God. And we know... Father God, that you are not slack upon your promises, oh God. Lord God, so for us to seek you diligently, Lord God, though we don't do it for the reward, we know the reward is down the road, oh God. So Lord God, I pray today, Lord, that you fall fresh on us, oh God. I pray today, Lord God, that you anoint this service, oh God. I, I, I pray today, Lord God, Lord God, that you move, oh God, in this yes. service, oh God. Oh God, continue to unite this bond, Lord God, as we have declared to, to, to be kingdom-minded and not church-minded, Lord God. And, and as we have determined to be community-minded and not building-minded, Lord God. As we have, oh God, continue and, and, and committed, Lord God, to be godly minded and not pastor minded, Lord God. So, Lord God, come into this place today, Lord God. Wherever we sit, wherever we stand, Lord God, I pray that you receive that place as a tabernacle, Lord God. I pray that you receive that place as an altar to you, Lord God. I pray right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We lift you up, Lord God. Oh, the great I am, Yahweh, our Heavenly Father, Lord God. Yes. We call on your name, Lord God. Yes, Lord. You are the name above all names, Lord God. Yes. Every name must submit to your name, oh God. You have all power. It is the dunamis power that resides. It is the dunamis power that when you said, let there be light, there was light, oh God. That was the big bang. When you said, let there be light, oh God, and there was light. Oh, Heavenly Father, we thank you for the light, oh God. Oh, Heavenly Father, we bless Bless you today, Lord God. Lord God, I pray that you forgive us for our shortcomings, oh God. I pray that you forgive us for going astray, oh God. But oh God, but even still when we go astray, oh God, you will leave the 99 to go get the one, oh God. Thank you for leaving the 99 to go get the one, oh God. I pray today that there's, oh God, a bunch of ones on the line today, oh God. I, I, I pray today that there's a there's a bunch of ones on the internet today, oh God. I pray today that there's a bunch of ones that are thanking you, Lord God. I pray today that there are, 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 are many ones, oh God, that are laying mm. before you saying, thank you, Jesus, for coming to get me. Thank you, Lord for leaving a 99 for me. Thank you, Lord, for coming to get me when I was lost. Thank you, Lord, for putting me out of the pit. Thank you, Lord, Thank for you, visiting Jesus. me in the prison. Thank you, Lord, for removing my depression. Thank you, Lord, for being in a hospital room during the surgery. Thank you, Lord, for not letting the the, the, the blade before me. Thank you, Lord, that a thousand will fall on my left hand and ten thousand at my right hand, but the plague will not touch my home. Thank you, Lord, for me being the one. Oh, praise the Lord. If you're the one, just somebody type, I'm the one. Oh, Heavenly Father, if you're the one, if, you, if, if, if you're not caught in worship right now, just type, I'm the one. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. We bless you today, Heavenly Father. Oh, praise the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord with me today, saints. Come on, this is not a spectator sport. Wherever you are, just begin to praise the Lord. This is no spectator sport. Hallelujah. We all can get involved in praising the name of the Lord because he is worthy to be praised. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. We are present here today, Lord God. Not as connected life, Lord God. Not as believers in Christ, Lord God. But we are here today as just a body of believers, Lord God. That trust and our faith and our eternal hope, the hope of our salvation is in you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We bless you today, Heavenly Father. And, and we, we just want to honor you, Lord, with the fruit of our lips, oh God. Oh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. If, if, if you can, people of God, turn with me real quick to Psalms 24, the 24th division of Psalms. Yes, sir. The 24th division of Psalms. Bless you. Good morning, Brother Floyd. Praise God. Good morning, Sister Cola. Praise God. Good morning, Mommy. Good morning, Brother Jim. 
Pause and bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I just want to read the scripture real quick. This just blessed me this morning. And then we're going to turn it over to Pastor Tiffany for praise and worship. Good morning. Good morning. Praise the Lord. Yes. And the word of God reads in the 24th division of Psalms. I'm reading from the CSB version. Mm -hmm. The word of God reads the earth and everything in the world and its inhabitants. Its inhabitants belong to the Lord, yes. right? For all the King James folks, it would say the earth is the Lord's oh, and the fullness thereof. Come on now. For he laid its foundation on the seas and established it on the rivers. Praise the Lord. Who may ascend the mountain uh, of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place? The one who has clean hands, come on somebody, and a yes. pure heart. Thank you. Who has not appealed to what is false and who has not sworn deceitfully? Come on, somebody. Uh, uh, he will receive blessings from the Lord. It's right there, plain and clear. And righteousness from the God of his salvation. Such is the generation of those who inquire of him, who seek the face of the God of Jacob. Come on now. We need to seek the Lord's face. Lift up your hand, your heads, you gates. Rise up, ancient doors. Then the King of Glory will come in. Come on now. Who is this King of Glory? Praise the Lord. Who is this King of Glory? Praise God. If you don't know, you got to get to know Him. Who is this King of Glory? Do you understand glory? Praise the Lord. This is the King of that glory. Come on now, somebody. That's a shoutable moment right there. Who is the King of Glory? Whatever glory you think you got, whatever glory you think exists, however, how, how good you think you are, he said our righteousness is a filthy rags. In the words says, who is this king of glory? Yes, the Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, you gates. Rise up, ancient doors, when the king of glory will come in. Who is he, the king of glory? The Lord of armies. He is the king of glory hallelujah jesus father we just turn the service over to you lord god have your way in this service oh god anoint us oh god with a fresh anointing oh god let chains be broken let blind eyes be open lord god let deaf ears begin to hear lord god Lord God, touch the sick, Lord God. And then, Lord God, I pray today that somebody come to salvation, oh God. Lord God, we throw the programs out the way and we turn it over to your Holy Spirit, to your yes. Ruach, oh God, in Jesus' name. Let all God's people, if you agree with me, just say amen. 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 Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. God bless you. Amen. Amen. It is so awesome to come into wherever your space is and just dedicate it to the Lord for a few moments to just worship him. If you came to worship him, I want you to throw some hearts up. I want you to say amen. I want you to celebrate God with us this morning. We want the glory of the Lord to rise this morning. He is the King of glory, the Lord, strong and mighty, and we come to magnify and glorify his name. So right where you are, if you want to snap your fingers, you want to clap, but I want you to sing and lift up the Lord on today, for he deserves it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the praises of our King rise among us. Let it rise. Oh, I know y'all know this. Come on, sing it with me. We say, let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord Rise among us, let the praises of our King rise among us, let it rise. Come on one more time, say, let the glory, let the glory of the Lord, we sing, rise among us, let the glory of the Lord rise among us, let the praises of our King rise among us, let it rise. We 
next to me. All of the glory belongs to you. All of the glory belongs to you. All of the glory belongs to you. My hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah belongs to you. Come on, it belongs to the Lord. We sing. My hallelujah belongs to you, God. My hallelujah belongs to you. Why? Because you deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. Come on, tell him. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. Come on, say all of the glory. All of the glory, hey, belongs to you. Oh, we come to give you all the glory. Say all of the glory belongs to you. Oh, we give you all the glory. All of the glory belongs to you. Yeah, we sing today. All of the glory belongs to you. Oh, let's raise it together. Say, you deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. If you believe it, say, you deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. We say hallelujah. 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 All the glory. All the honor. All the praise. You deserve it. Hey. You deserve it. You deserve it. Yes, today, God, you deserve it. In this moment, God, you deserve it. So we recognize you. You deserve it. And we give place to you, God. You deserve it. In my life, God, you deserve it. So we say, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! 
worship on one accord. Every praise, every praise is to you, God. Every praise is to our God. Every word of worship on one accord. Every praise, every praise is to our God. We say every praise is to our God. Every word of worship, every word of worship, hey, 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 every word of worship, my word of worship, hey, my word of worship, my heart of worship, my heart of worship, my life is worship, and I lift it to our God. Oh, every praise to our God, every word of worship on one accord, every praise, every praise is to you, God, to you, God, to you, God, it's to you, God. To you, God, worship to you, God, it's to you, God, to you, God, every praise is for you, God. Come on, right now, where you are, just lift your worship to him. Come on, just speak well of him. Just say one thing that you're grateful for him doing on this week, God. Just one thing, just one thing. And one thing turns into two things and two things turn into three things because there's no limit to my praise when I think about the goodness of all he's done, when I think about how he set me free, when I think about how he delivered me, when I think about how he's made ways out of no way. I can't help but lift my voice and say thank you. I can't help but raise my worship and say thank you because if you don't do another thing for me God you've already done enough if you don't do one more thing for me God you've already set me free you've already delivered my children you've already delivered me from cancer God you made a way out of no way God I know that you're a healer God I know you're a deliverer and so right now I give you my worship Jesus because you deserve it God you deserve it Jesus I lift my voice to you. I lift my song of praise to you, God. To our God. To our God. Come on, just say, we lift it to our God. We lift our praise to our God. Our worship to our God. Our worship to our God. Lift it to our God. Oh, you deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. Yes, you deserve it. We say you deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. We say, You deserve it. We give space to you, Jesus. Thank you. As we continue in the service, don't let your spirit come down. Don't let your praises come down. Continue to praise God through this service. He is worthy of the honor. God bless you, Pastor Matt. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We bless you, Lord, today. We honor you today, Lord God. We honor you, Lord. We bless you today. We bless you today, Lord God. What an awesome, awesome worship experience. Praise the Lord. What an awesome worship experience. We thank you, Lord. You deserve all the glory. 
and you deserve all the honor, Lord God. We bless you today, Heavenly Father. We thank you, Lord. And you are just, God, this is your work, Lord. This is your work, God. This is what you are doing, Heavenly Father. This is your work. And we just thank you, Lord, because yes. this is your work. And we are just here as servants of your work, Lord God. We are here as servants of you, as bond servants of Jesus Christ. And, and, and we just want to be uh, obedient to what your spirit says, Lord, to what thus says the Lord. Praise the Lord. So as we continue our uh, worship portion of service, we want to um, continue to uh, give not only of ourselves, amen, but also of our increase. Praise the Lord. And we want to uh, participate and sow into good soil, amen, as we believe we are here at Believers in Christ. And we have... Um, uh, uh, we have a much work to do with the building and everything that is going on and stay tuned for that information. We're praying that, um, we're, and we're praying, um, for some good news on the building that later this week. So stay tuned, sign up for the believe it, B I C York at Gmail. Um, so you can get that information. Praise the Lord, uh, on what's going to happen for service next week. Praise the Lord. Um, but we just want to give you the various ways that you can give on, on, on our platform. And, and we thank Connected Life as well, just for working with us and worshiping with us today. Uh, Pastor Varian and Pastor Tiffany, we honor you all today and we thank you. And um, so the various ways you can give, you can give at uh, dollar sign Believers in Christ Church. That's through the cash app. Dollar signs. Uh, if if uh Sister the shave, you can write this stuff in the in the um in the comment section. That's dollar sign believers in Christ B I C. You want to split it? Yeah. Dollar sign believers is good. Okay. Dollar sign believers in Christ B I C. Uh, you can also mail a check or a money order to uh, believers in Christ Church at one twenty one South Front Street. York Haven, Pennsylvania, 17370. Mm -hmm. Again, that's 121 South Front Street. Uh, 121 South Front Street. Mm -hmm. uh, York Haven, Pennsylvania, 17370. And you can also give on our um, PayPal account. And that is Believers in Christ Academy. That is our 501c3 nonprofit arm of Believers in Christ Church. And Sister Lachey, if you could put that information and there for us, that would be a blessing. Again, that's dollar sign, Believers in Christ, B-I-C, via Cash App, via check or money order. That is uh, 121 South Front Street, York Haven, Pennsylvania, 17370. And that is also at our uh, Believers in Christ Academy at PayPal, all right? And I'm, I'm, I know Sis Lachey will get that in there for us. Praise the Lord. But um, I'm excited for what's going on. I'm excited for what the Lord is doing. I'm excited for the unity that the Lord is bringing together with uh, CLM and with Believers in BIC. Um, we got a lot of alpha. We got to get the rest of the alphabet covered. You know what I'm saying? So we got, yeah, CLM, BIC, we're going to get the rest of the alphabet covered and we're going to unite the body of Christ for real. Amen. But um, I'm excited today um, good morning, brother Ron. Bless you, my brother. Good morning, Auntie Sandra. Good morning, Auntie Sandra. God bless you. Praise the Lord. I want to um, just take a moment before I bring up the man of God to share the word and just introduce him to those who may not know him. Um, Pastor Varian and I met, I think we met at the baseball game, man, like two summers ago, or maybe it was a summer or two ago. And um, we were at the Revs game and him and his wife, they were out there ministering. And I think I still have to when I pray that, I think, right? I did a prayer for the fa friends and family um, faith night. And um, and we met and we just realized we were kindred spirits. We we've connected and and we've 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 talked and we've shared visions with each other that the Lord has given us and and um really kindred spirits really um want the same thing for the community believe in the same thing in the gospel. And uh, they have been, his family, his ministry have been a huge blessing 
a huge blessing to um to believers in Christ Church, um, an enormous blessing. And um, I remember when we met the other day, uh, Elder uh, Elder I was like, man, he just standing next to him. He felt the spirit of the Lord coming off of Pastor nice. Varian. Okay. Amen. So he so I'm I'm excited for today. I'm excited to hear the word of God. I'm excited to hear what thus says the Lord. Amen. So I'm just going to uh, ask you, if you're ready for the word, praise the Lord. Somebody just type in, I'm ready. Yeah. If you're ready for the word of God, somebody just type in, I'm ready. All right. Praise the Lord. And I just like to introduce uh, to some, probably reintroduce to others, uh, Pastor Varian Jeffers, uh, lead pastor at Connected Life Ministries. Pastor, it's all yours, my brother. Amen. Amen. Thank you, uh, Pastor Matt for just sharing uh, worship with us today and just seeing fit to join together, you know, what God is putting together. I'm, I'm telling you what God is doing in, in our community is, is going to blow some people's minds. Yes. Um, we, we've been hearing um, revival. We've been hearing revival for the last four or five months. And you know, I believe that God is really about to start turning things around. He is empowering. He is energizing his people. He is He is calling us to action and he is stirring us up. So I'm so glad that God put us together. And, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm just excited. You know, the enemy really is in for a fight. Amen. In this region, because when, when we get together and we are one mind and truly acting like one body in Christ, we can do powerful things in the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. So I'm, I'm glad to be with you all to share the word today. Um, I'm just I'm just glad, you know, for everybody that's online, on Facebook, on social media, YouTube, all these different things. Welcome again. I'm Pastor Varian Jeffers. Uh, my lovely wife led us into worship this morning. And uh, man, thank you, baby girl. You just, <laughs> you took us in bless on the, the couch. Lord. You took bless us in. <laughs> You took us in, <laughs> and so I'm just thankful. And um, Thank you, Lord. so we, we we're gonna get into the word, Amen. And I'm not gonna be, you know, too long. I know preachers say that all the time, but you know, I mean it when I say it. I'm not gonna be too long. I just want to give you a word from the Lord that that has been ministering to to me, and um, I want to share that with you all today. So let's pray together as we go into God's word. Father God, we thank you, Lord for this day. We thank you for this awesome time of worship, Lord God. Now our hearts are ready, Lord God. Our minds are, are in the right place, Lord. We are open to receive a word from you, Lord God. So we ask that you will plant this seed of word in us, Lord God. Let it sprout and grow fruit in our lives, Lord, Lord God, so that men might see you in us, Lord. Lord, I ask right now that you will just continue to, to, to illuminate our eyes, Lord God, through your word today in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Now, if uh, if you've been following along with with uh, Connected Life, you know uh, by my shirt here, um, our theme for the year is move. Amen. And and so we've been in this series called Stick and Move because we got to be able to move in God's timing. We need to understand and recognize that God has a strategic plan for our lives, and His timing is not always the way we think it may turn out. And so today. Um, my, my topic is what happens when God's timing takes too long? Amen. What happens when God's timing takes too long? Amen. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm coming out of John chapter 11. So if you have your Bibles with you, please turn with me, John chapter 11. And it's, it's a lot of scripture there. I'm not going to read all of it, but we're going to you know hop and skip through it um, and pick out some nuggets you know, just that we can incorporate in our own lives and, and really reflect on our own um, thoughts. Amen. So if you're not familiar, this is the story of Lazarus and how Jesus raised him from the dead. But there's a whole lot in here that happens before you even get to that part. And today we're not even going to talk about the resurrection part. We're talking about God's timing and what happens when his timing takes too long from the eyes of the people around uh, the situation. So let's get into the word right now. Uh, verses, the first four verses, we're going to read that. Um, I'm reading in the New American Standard Bible. It says, now a certain man was sick, Lazarus of Bethany, the village of Mary and her sister Martha. 
It was the same Mary who anointed the Lord with ointment and wiped his feet with her hair, whose brother Lazarus was sick. So the sister sent word to him saying, Lord, behold, he whom you love is sick. But when Jesus heard this, he said, this sickness is not to end in death, but for the glory of God, so that the son of God may be glorified. Amen. My first point here is that your proximity to Christ doesn't place you further away from the problems of life, but it places you closer to the solution. Mm. We see that uh, in verse three, it says the sisters sent word. They had to send messenger. They didn't have a, a cell phone. They didn't hit Jesus up <laughs> on his phone. They didn't have Instagram or, or any kind of messaging system. Yeah. So they had to, 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 to send somebody to carry the message to Christ. And so uh, the, the messenger arrived to Christ and they said, they, they didn't say, come, our brother is sick. They didn't say, come, Lazarus is sick. They said, Lord, the one you love mm. is sick. And so Mary and Martha and Lazarus had a special relationship with, with the Lord. And they would often host him at their home when he would come through town on ministry. And so they were his friends and he loved them. Throughout this chapter, you read at least three times where it specifically says how Jesus loved them, but his love for them didn't spare them from dealing with the realities of life. And so Mary and, and Martha, they sent word to Christ and they, they knew what he could do. They'd seen him perform miracles. They'd seen him heal the sick. They'd even heard of him raising the dead before. So, so this wasn't an, an unreasonable request. They said, Lord, come, he's sick. And he's getting worse. But Jesus replied. Jesus replied really is the whole message. Because he said to them, this sickness is not to end in death, but for the glory of God so that the Son of God may be glorified. If they had truly comprehended Jesus' return message, they would have been all right. But see, the, the, what happens is, it, it, what happens with them is a lot of times what happens with us in our lives. We, we, God says one thing, but we hear something else. I mean, I don't know about you, but I know in, in our household and in, in, in a marriage relationship, um, sometimes us husbands, right, we can, we can hear one thing. And it's not what our spouse was trying to say. If we all, can I get a witness? A witness. Witness, Amen. you know, and vice versa. So <laughs> communication is key. And sometimes the message doesn't come across the way it's intended. So if, if Mary and Martha had understood exactly the powerful thing that Jesus was saying to them, they wouldn't have worried. They wouldn't have been upset. But what happened was they confused what they heard. Jesus said, this isn't going to end in death. But they heard, Lazarus will not die. Mm. But Jesus didn't say that. Jesus said it won't end in death. So, so what happens in your life when, when, when God's word arrives? And just imagine J Jesus sent that messenger back to them with this message. Lazarus will not die. This will not end in death. Right? What happens when, when what you hear doesn't match up with what you see? Because by the time the messenger got back, it's very likely that Lazarus had already passed away. Because as, as we read the story, we understand that time is passing here. And Jesus went on to take even more time to come down. In verse 6, it says Jesus sent word. He, it, it says he sent his word and he waited. It says he waited two full days. So so that he arrives in Bethany and Lazarus is good and dead, good and dead. What happens when, when, when the Lord sends his word and then he waits? How hard is it for us to, 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 to deal with that waiting period, right? I know as parents, we, we, we tell our children, it's gonna happen, we're coming, we're gonna do it. But the hardest part about it is waiting. That's why the Bible says, wait on the Lord and be of good strength. Yes. Because it takes strength to wait. Yes. It takes strength to fight against the enemy who is telling you the whole time that the Lord is not going to do what he said he's going to do. 
the, the enemy is trying to place seeds of doubt into your mind in that waiting time. So what happens when, when the Lord sends word and then we have to wait? That is the hard part, right? We're talking about God's timing. And so there's another piece to this story. Because as, as, as the messenger arrives back to his sisters, Lazarus is, is, is most likely already passed away. If not, he's going to be passing away very, very soon because we know that by the time Jesus gets there, he's already in the grave for four days. So we see that to them, it looks like Lazarus' time might have run out. But Jesus had a different issue. He knew that his time had not yet come, right? Mary and Martha couldn't wait for him to get there, but the disciples didn't want him to go. We read in the next few verses, uh, starting in verse 7, it says, Then after this, uh, he, meaning Jesus, said to the disciples, Let us go to Judea again. The disciples said to him, Rabbi or teacher, the Jews were just now trying to stone you. Are you going there again? Jesus answered them, Are there not 12 hours in the day? If anyone walks in the day, he does not stumble because he sees the light of this world. But if anyone walks in the night, he stumbles because the light is not in him. The disciples were, were, were worried about Jesus. They were worried about his enemies. They were worried about those who were coming against them. And they didn't yet understand that what, what Jesus fully knew was that his time had not yet come. And so they were trying to persuade Jesus to not go, but Jesus said, I got work to do. And he said to them, are there not 12 hours in the day? Meaning there's a time to work and then you don't have time anymore. What, what that means for us is we can't waste the daylight that God has given us. He has numbered our days and we don't know the number of our days, but he knows. So that means we cannot waste the time that he's given us to work. We can't be worried about who's going to try to stone us, who's going to talk bad about us, who's going to ridicule us, who's going to persecute us. We have to be about the work of the Lord because time is running out. We're living in the last days. If you didn't know it, now you know. And so we need to get on the job of winning souls for Christ, of expanding the kingdom of God. And I want to encourage you right now to, 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 to start to think about what more you can do for Christ, what more you can do for the kingdom. It's time to put away your, your fears. Mm -hmm. It's time to let's move past those fears and those, those, those things that, that keep us from stepping forward. God is looking for boldness in his people right now. In this season, it's not the time to shrink back. It's not the time to look out for number one. It's the time to put it all on the line for Christ. And so Jesus told them, we have work to do. He, he reminds them that if they keep their eyes on him, that they would not fall. He said, while the daylight is shining, you won't stumble because you see the light of the world. Previously in chapter 8, verse 12, John, 12, John 8, 12, he said to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. If you follow me, you won't have to walk in darkness because you will have the light that leads you to life. Notice that it says they won't stumble because they see the light. See, most of us, when we're walking, you know, we're looking at the path before us. But Jesus is saying, look at me and you won't fall. Look at me and you won't fail. So he reminded them, he gave them a, a pep talk. He said, look, if you're with me, you are right. It don't matter what they're trying to do. I'm going to go down here. We're going to do what we got to do. And the Lord's will be done. And so, you know, we saw the one that they called Doubting Thomas. He said, oh, okay, well, then let's all go and just die with, with the Lord then. You know, it, it's that obedience to God that he's looking for. It's almost like how, how we talked about two weeks ago when we talked about the story of Esther when, when she went before the king and she understood that there may be dire consequences. She said, if I die, I die. God is looking for people that will say, if I die, I die, but I will do the work of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Is that person you? Just like Pastor Matt said, he's looking for the one. He's looking for the one that will say yes, right? Yes, yes. Amen? Amen. So, we have a conflict from what, what they hear 
And then what Jesus said, because he's talking to the disciples and then he talks about how Lazarus is asleep, right? He says, Lazarus is asleep and we're going to go wake him up. And they say, oh, well, if he's asleep, then, you know, he's going to be all right then. We ain't got to go down there. They're afraid. They're answering out of their fear. They didn't understand. They didn't want to go to Jesus. They didn't want to go to Judea. So they jumped on the, the, the convenient answer. Oh, how many times do we do that? How many times do we look for God to give us a little, little escape hatch on the side that we can kind of get out of things? Oh, Lord, you know, well, you know, I guess somebody else will, will, will speak to that person. I guess somebody else will call that sister and pray with her. I guess somebody else will, will help this family that's in need. Maybe if I just kind of point them in the right direction, they'll be all right. They're going to be all right. You, Lord, you're going to take care of them. Mm. But God is saying, no, I want you to do it. You have to do my will. We can't always take the convenient and practical um, way out. You know what I'm saying? Um, sometimes we, we, we want to, to, to jump on the, the practical thing instead of the miracle. Mm. God is oh saying, God. will you trust in the miracle? Trust in the miracle. Or, only, or, or are, you, are you only going to look at the practical? Mm -hmm. God is a God of miracles. Yes, he is. He's not a God of practicality in any way. He says, I use the, the, the foolish things to confound the wise. Mm -hmm. He said he uses broken things and broken people and mm -hmm. broken vessels. Thank you, God. To carry his message to the world. Mm -hmm. God isn't practical at all. God is miraculous Thank you. and his mir miracles happen through you and I, when we say yes to him. Amen. 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 So he convinces them to go down with him. But as he comes to the scene, it's, it's a very sad scene. I don't know if, 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 if any of you ever been in a very sad funeral where there's just wailing and, and crying. Well, in, in their culture, and it's, it's important to realize that, that Lazarus had been there for, for four days. In, in the Jewish culture, um, during that time, there was a belief that the, the spirit would hang around for three days. And so they also believed that the more you cried, the more you, you wailed, you know, the, the, the more you, you were blessing the person that passed away. And so Jesus came after four days when, when really... If, if you're looking with your natural eye, all hope is lost. They believe the spirit will hang around for three days just in case they may wake back up. But now after four days, all hope is gone. So Jesus comes on the scene and it's a sad scene. And so he's encountered first with Martha, the sister. And we hear three times in this passage, if you had only been here. Mm -hmm. Starting at verse 20, we're going to skip down a little bit. Verse 20 to 24, Martha, therefore, when she heard that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him. But Mary stayed in the house. Martha then said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. Even now, I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the re resurrection of the last day. Have you ever said this to God? Have you ever been praying for something? Have you ever been earnestly seeking God for something and it looks like it doesn't happen? And you just say, Lord, if you had only, if you had only acted sooner, it's a natural response. We, we, we all have, 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 made up in my, our minds that God was going to do something and we've seen it not play out that way. And um, excuse me one second. I got to plug this computer up before got okay. you got it. Okay, yeah. good. Go ahead and plug it. The plug is over there, but we, we played out in our minds a scenario and we've sought the Lord earnestly and, 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 and our prayer seems to not be answered. And we say, Lord, why? If, if, if you had only done what I asked you, then I wouldn't feel this hurt right now. I wouldn't feel this disappointment right now. Martha believed, but she was disappointed. Do I have a witness out there? Anybody ever been disappointed? It's on the other side, sweetheart. Anybody ever dis been disappointed? And so 
God met her. She met him. She didn't understand. And Jesus told her, he reassured her. He said, your brother will live again. When, when he offered her the, the immediate help, because he was talking about, I'm about to raise your brother up. She said, well, I know it's going to happen by and by. And what God is saying to me through this, we don't have to settle for the by and by. We need to have our confidence firmly placed in God. Amen. We can't limit what God can do to the by and by when God has a right now action mm -hmm. to take on your behalf. We tend to downgrade our faith based on what we see. Mm. We, tend to, we tend to water down our prayers mm. based on the circumstances. How many times have we prayed for somebody and it seemed, seemed like they're getting worse instead of getting better? Mm. And we find it harder to pray. We find it harder to ask God for that bold miracle. But God is still the God of miracles. Yes, and the truth of the matter is that if God wills, he can, he can heal every disease. But the point is that we, we go through things and our faith is tried. But God is saying, don't downgrade your faith. Mm -hmm. Keep praying. Keep praying for that lost child. Keep praying for that broken marriage. Keep praying for that ministry. Keep praying for that opportunity. Amen. Keep praying for that healing. Mm. Keep praying for reconciliation. Yes. Because God answers our faith. Yes, he does. So when we water down our faith to match our circumstances, then we're not dealing with the power that God has and the, the authority that he has told us to speak in. We need to change our vocabulary. Mm -hmm. We need to start speaking life where death seems to be taken over. Hey. We need to start learning how to speak life into death situations. Amen. Mary, as well as the crowd of mourners, echoed the same, if you had been there, sentiment. See, they were blinded by their grief and they wept uncontrollably. They were so sorrowful at what happened. And then in verse 33, we see that when Jesus therefore saw her weeping, and he saw the Jews who came with her also weeping. It says that he was deeply moved in his spirit and he was troubled. Now that word that is translated as deeply moved is more accurately translated as angry. Jesus was mad. Jesus was upset. Jesus was, was, was angry with, not with the mourners. He was angry with death. He was angry with being face to face with the, the consequences of this fallen world that we live in that had now touched his friends. And so to me, that's encouraging that the things that hurt me make God angry. Mm. The things that hurt you make God angry. Hey, thank you. Because Lord. he cares for you. Yes. I want you to understand that whatever it is you're going through, as much pain as you feel, God is mad behind the scenes. You ever had, uh, uh, I, I got a big, I got two big brothers. I don't know about you. I'm the youngest. And so I know that, you know, if, if, if I had an issue with somebody and, and, you know, I was kind of small when I was younger, you know, I'm a big guy now. I put on a lot of weight and stuff, but I was a little thing when I was, when I was younger and I didn't get into any fights and things like that, but I knew if somebody was to lay their hands on me, I had a big brother that would come after them with everything they had. And that is what you have in God. If the enemy lays his hand on you, you have a God in heaven, a father who will move heaven and earth to restore you everything that was taken from you. He will fight your battle. He will come to your aid. He will come to your rescue. We need to understand that the things that hurt us make God mad. We don't serve a God who hasn't been touched by the things that we are touched by, it says mm. in Hebrews. He has been touched by everything that we go through. Mm. Jesus experienced all the things and it makes him mad. And he understands that now it's time to do warfare with the enemy. And so Woo! he came ready to do battle with the ultimate enemy of our souls, which is death. Thank you. 
He showed that not even death was strong enough to destroy his love for you and, and take you out of his hand. So he came on the scene and he was angry because he said the devil tried it again. Mm -hmm. And so when the enemy is touching your finances and when he's touching your children, mm -hmm. he got your wife not acting right or your husband, he's touching things on your job. The, the Lord in heaven is looking at that and saying, oh no, I got something for you. Mm -hmm. We have to step back and trust him to take up our cause. Amen. Amen, amen. He never le he never leaves us alone. He never fails us. And we can't fall victim to our eyesight. We walk by faith and not by sight. So it might not look like the end is what it's going to be, but God already has the plan in motion. Amen. We just have to learn to trust him. Amen. amen. The problem mm -hmm. when we keep it real is that we believe that Jesus can heal the sick, but we don't believe that he can raise the dead. Hey! <laughs> we keep it Preach. real right now. We believe that Jesus can heal the sick, but when he looks dead, oh, our faith goes away. God is saying, I am the one who can heal the sick and, and. raise the dead. Don't give up on God. Mm. Because he won't give up on you. Amen? Amen. Even when it looks like it's dead and in the grave. Mm. So we believe that. And then so we want to take the easy way out like the disciples did. They say, oh, well, it's just a sleep. Let's let it, let's let it go and it'll be all right. But we have to acknowledge the dead works in our lives too. We have to understand that that habit that you got, it's not just a sleep. That is a dead, rotten, stinking thing. And we need the power of the word of God to speak life and call forth life. Mm -hmm. from that dead thing. We got to stop playing with sin in our lives, Ooh. thinking that it's just a little something. It's all right. I, you know, I'll get over it by and by. We need to realize that those dead works that we hold on to in this flesh that we live in are going to kill us. They're going to kill our joy. They're going to kill our relationship with God. They're going to kill our peace. They're going to kill our power. They're going to make us impotent in the kingdom. And so we need to look at that thing and say, it's a dead thing. And allow the Lord of life to come and speak life into us mm. and call it forth. Mm. My challenge to you today, as I get ready to close, we need to understand that when, when, when God's timing takes too long, it's not the time for our faith to fail. Mm. We need to understand that God has a purpose and a reason for everything. Now, Jesus told the disciples, it's good that we weren't there because I want you to believe. Because he knows that if he was there and Lazarus was sick, he would have healed them and they wouldn't have seen this manifestation of his power. And I believe it's a message to us. We can't just expect God to just make everything all right. But we have to understand that he has the power to raise the dead. Mm. He has the power to speak life and bring life forth out of us. When we recognize the, the dead things in our lives and turn it over and give it over to him, he's the one that can handle it. He's the one that can turn it around. He's the one that can restore it. He's the one that can renew it. Amen. And so my challenge, my, my, my word to you, my encouragement to you today, if, if, if you're under the sound of my voice and you're watching this, um, you may have some areas in your life that, that are dead, that feel dead, that feel that there's no life left in it. Maybe it's your marriage. Maybe it's your joy. Maybe it's your, maybe it's the dream or aspiration. Maybe it's that thing that God placed in your heart. And it hasn't come to pass the way you foresaw or you, you hoped it would. God is here to tell you that it's not over. It's not over. It may look dead. It may look like it's in the grave. It might be dead and stinking in your eyes, but it's not over. It's not over until God says it's over. It's not over because Jesus has the final say. I want you to turn that thing over to the Lord. I want you to, to remember that 
This is the God of miracles. And he is, 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 is ready, able, willing, and capable to do a new thing in your life. He wants to breathe fresh life into you. Amen. And so I want to pray with you, everyone, right now. If that's you, I want to pray with you. And if you're under the sound of my voice and you're listening to all this and you say, Pastor, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I, I don't have this relationship with God. I, 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 don't, I, I'm, I don't know what it's like to trust in him. I don't know what it's like to be able to count on him. I don't have anybody that, that has my back. I want you to know that God has never given up on you. And although we are all born dead in our trespasses and sin, salvation and grace are available. The Lord is waiting for you to come running to him like Martha came running to Jesus. Because he is the one that can take your life and breathe life into it. And now we can place our life inside of him and live a new glorious life to his glory. Salvation is free for you today. He wants to have relationship and communion with you. I want to pray with you too. Let's, let's take a moment and pray together. Lord God, for that one who, who, who is listening today and doesn't know you, Lord, we pray right now by your spirit that, that they have been touched by your word and they understand that they don't have to settle for the way that their life is going, that you have a brand new life waiting for them in you. Lord God, that person that's listening that, that feels like they've done so many things wrong and they've messed up their life and they feel like it's over, encourage them by your spirit that it's not over. It's not over. All they have to do is accept the free gift that you offer to them that was made possible by the, the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. If you would just lay it all down at his feet, he said, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. He will pick it up and carry the load for you. And his shoulders are broad. His arms are strong. And he can carry way more than we can. So I'm asking right now, if you want to turn your life over to Christ, if you want a new start right now and today, if you want to come forth from the grave that you've been living in, God is calling you to life right now. Pray with me in faith and have a new start today. There's no magic in the words. It's, it's not some, some spooky. It's just a, a relational thing between you and God. Just imagine there's nobody else but you and him one-on-one. -on -one. And I'm going to lead you in a prayer. And if you pray this prayer by faith, God's arms are open wide to welcome you. Pray with me, Lord Jesus. I know that I'm messed up. I know I've done wrong. I haven't trusted you, Lord. And I've made a mess of my life. I've tried it my way too long. And I'm tired. I want to turn it all over to you. I want you to be the Lord of my life. I don't know how you're going to do it, but I know that you can do it. I'm going to trust you, Lord, to transform me, save me, forgive me, Lord. Make me brand new. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your love. Thank you for showing up for me. Now help me to live for you. In Jesus' name. Amen. For that one who, who has something dead in your life, whatever that thing is, that thing that you've been given up on, that you've moved on, that you've just resigned yourself, mm. that it's not going to come to pass. Jesus said, I have the final say. Yes. He can breathe new life into that thing right now. Mm. I want to pray with you, Lord. Mm. For that person, Lord, I pray that you will encourage their heart right yes. now, Lord. I pray that you will stir up their faith. Yes, Lord, renew their hope, Lord God. Yes, God. Open their eyes to see the light. Mm -hmm. Let them begin to walk by faith again. Lord, we, we ask you to forgive us, Lord, for the times we doubted you. Mm. 
We ask you, Lord, to forgive us for the times we we questioned you, Lord God, and 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 put our needs above your will, Lord. But we ask, Lord, that your will be done in our lives. Yes. We ask, Lord God, that that you will stir up uh, that ministry, that gift, that mm-hmm. that thing, Lord God, that you have placed in us, Lord God, that thing that we've given up on, Lord. Mm-hmm. We, we ask that you will bring it back to life in us bring right now, life, Lord God. God. Bring it back to life in us right now, Lord God. Mm-hmm. So that it can walk, it can breathe, it can talk, and it can glorify you. Yes. Reignite the fire, Lord God. Mm-hmm. That your name will be magnified and your kingdom will be expanded. Yes, Lord. Use me, Lord. Mm-hmm. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. I want to turn it over to my brother, Pastor Matt, to close us out. But I want to encourage you, saints. It ain't over until God says it's over. Hey, <laughs> That thing you thought was dead, it's just asleep. God is coming to wake it up. Amen? Amen. 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 God bless you. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. What a word, man. What a word. What a word. My God, what a word, man. That I, I'm going to have to play that one back. Amen. There were so many nuggets in there and so many, um, man, I mean, when, when the man of God said, I had to write that one down. He said, we believe that Jesus can heal the sick, but we don't believe he can raise the dead. My God, man, that, that, that is powerful right there. And that just goes to our faith. And, I, and, and again, I'm just... Um, the presentation of the word of God right there was on point because it, it, we have to know that we have to, everything is in God's timing and God is, per, his timing is always perfect. Right. And, and, and don't worry. We have to, as the man of God said, don't worry if uh, 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 sometimes God will send a word, but we got to wait for the manifestation of that word to take place. And in that space of time, we cannot lose hope. We cannot lose heart. We cannot lose faith, right? We cannot have our faith diminished because that thing that God promised us will come to pass, right? God, it, 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 he is not slack upon his promises. So I, I thank you for that word, Pastor Varian. That was a, 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 an expository word. That was an encouraging word. That was a, a, a word that was motivating. That was a word that was um, just it reminds us of how much Jesus loves us, right? And, 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 and then and then you said, <laughs> Jesus gets mad when there's things that offend us, right? When, when, when things that hurt us, he gets mad at it. Praise the Lord, I'm paraphrasing. But man, that was an on-time word, brother. And, and that motivated us. You got my wife over here in the spirit and she, you know, being moved, moved by the spirit. So I, I bless you for that, man. And so much truth. Yeah, I have a lot. Like I've been trying to, there's so many quotables for that message. Thank you, Lord. You are anointed. You have given a word that was so needed and on time. And I know I'm not the only one who's blessed. And we thank God for for Connected Life Ministries. We thank God for pastors Varian and Tiffany Jeffers and the anointing that is on them that spreads this gospel, that makes it you know, makes us encouraged to continue running the race. I know they didn't want us to, but we want to bless them. We know of what the Lord is doing in their life and we want to bless them. So please, if this word moved you, find it in your heart to cheerfully give to the Connected Life Ministries. They are Cash App CLM York, Cash App CLM York. Give them a blessing because this is a word that needs to continue going forth and we don't want to allow anything to hinder it. And we know God is able to do all things and supply all needs, but this is for you to return the blessing. Amen. This is your physical ability here on earth to return the blessing to this ministry. Praise God. I love that. Don't downgrade your faith, people. You can't change your vocabulary to match what you see. You walk by faith and not by sight. And, you know, that reminds me of a a man from long ago, Smith Wigglesworth, a man who, when I read his sermons today, I can still feel the power. A man from the early 1900s, Smith Wigglesworth, and he would say, don't be moved by what you see. This is it right here. Don't downgrade your faith by what you see. Thank you, Pastor Jeffers. Thank you so much. 
for the word and for that worship. Like I'm on, I needed it. I just needed it. God knew what he was doing. It wasn't just random. This was preordained for everything that was going to happen. And I thank God because he is a miracle working God every day, including this morning. I've seen the miracles and just his word and his worship going forth from this family. So praise God. It's a pleasure to worship with the Connected Life Ministry family. All of you who logged in from Connected Life Ministries, thank God. I think I saw a brother, uh, Len Banks, and uh, many others from the ministry that have logged in. It's such a pleasure to be able to connect with you all this way. And I'm looking forward to connecting in more ways in the future, man. Amen. Amen. Yeah, y'all, so please, man, that is dollar sign uh, CLM York. Let's sow a seed into these uh, wonderful, this wonderful ministry, this wonderful man and woman of God that ministered to us today. We wanna support them and encourage them in what God is doing. Praise the Lord. That's dollar sign C L M York. Praise the Lord. And um, yeah, I mean, that was an awesome word. I'm gonna ask Pastor Varian if you would um, uh, you know, like to have some final remarks and then even dismiss us, brother. Amen. Amen. So um, you know, I know this is a joint joint service and I, I love you guys. Um, but you know, those who follow us and 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 have, have seen our been our services and things like that, you know, we always close out the same way. Yes. Um, we we have a motto at our ministry, and these are words that we live by. So Amen. if you know it, we'll repeat after us. <laughs> oh yeah, we'll, we'll do we'll do the repeat after us. Okay. We believe we believe, we believe that because God loves us, because that God, because loves, God us, loves us. We will love his people. We will love, we will his, love his people. Because God gave to us. Because, because God, God gave to us. We will freely give. We, we will freely give. give. And because God has changed us. And because, and because God, God has changed us. We will change the world. We will, we will change, change the, world. the world. Tell somebody you love them. And go in Jesus' love joy. Love you guys. God bless you. Love you guys too. We love, love you all. Thank you guys. God bless you guys. God bless you so much. Amen. Love you guys. Thank you all in Facebook land and the internet world for tuning in. Share this message. And you heard the man of God. We will change the world. Amen. Because Jesus changed us. Praise God. Amen. Bless you guys. Love you all. Love you. Love you guys. God bless you. <laughs>